So, what can I get you? I've got scotch, I've got vodka, I just and I should be in the Cut this shit, will you? Just cut it! I don't know what you're up to. But I'm gonna tell you it's gonna stop right now. No, it's not gonna stop. It's gonna go on and on until you face up to your responsibilities. What responsibilities? I'm pregnant. I'm gonna have our child. Alex, that's your choice, honey. That has nothing to do with me. I just want to be a part of your life. Oh, this is the way you do it, huh? Showing up at my apartment? Well, what am I supposed to do? You won't answer my calls. You change your number. I mean, I'm not gonna be ignored, Dan. In the 1987 film, Fatal Attraction, Glenn Close's character, Alex, refuses to go away quietly when Michael Douglas's character, the married lawyer Dan, attempts to end their illicit affair. Researchers have documented the devastating range of emotions people can experience after a breakup. When an individual is or perceives themselves to be jilted, they are often heartbroken and caught up in a swirl of conflicting emotions. They may still be in love with the jilter, yet feel abandoned, depressed, angry, and in despair. They may withdraw emotionally, or in some extreme cases, they may act out violently. This is 34-year-old Caitlin Marie Armstrong, an Austin-based yoga instructor and realtor who was in an on-again, off-again relationship with 35-year-old professional cyclist Colin Strickland. During one of their off periods this past October, Colin had a two-week romantic fling with 25-year-old professional cyclist Anna Mariah Wilson. After Caitlin and Colin reunited, Caitlin became furious upon learning that boyfriend Colin had plans to meet up with Anna once again. So she followed them. When a friend of Anna's discovered Anna's dead body at her Austin apartment on 1708 Maple Avenue, police had two questions. One, who killed Anna Mariah Wilson? And two, where is Caitlin Armstrong? Anna Mariah Wilson was born on May 18, 1996, in Littleton, New Hampshire. Most recently a resident of Vermont, she was set to compete in a grueling 157-mile gravel cycling race in Austin, Texas. She was considered an elite cyclist who had already won 10 professional races, including one by a 25-minute margin over the next closest competitor. Her father, Eric Wilson, skied for the U.S. national ski team, and her aunt, Laura, was a Nordic skier who competed at the Olympics. She received a Bachelor of Arts in Engineering from Dartmouth College in 2019 and worked briefly before becoming a full-time professional cyclist. Colin Strickland is a native of Johnson City, Texas, and was born on November 7, 1986. He grew up on a farm, and that is where he learned to bike on gravel roads. Strickland won his first bicycling race post-college and went on to compete internationally. He began riding professionally in 2011 and is a member of the Red Bull athletic community. Strickland is popular within the cycling community, with more than 39,000 followers on Instagram. At the time of the murder, he held athlete sponsorships with such organizations as Red Bull, the Meteor Cafe, Allied Cycle Works, and Rafa. He briefly dated Anna Wilson in October of 2021 during a period of separation from his girlfriend, Caitlin Armstrong. Caitlin Armstrong was born on November 21, 1987. She is an Austin, Texas-based yoga instructor and realtor who was most recently employed by Cooper Sotheby's International Realty. She had been in an on-again, off-again relationship with Strickland for the past three years. They not only lived together, but were business partners. She was aware of Strickland and Wilson's history, but was assured by Strickland that it was well in the past. However, Wilson was now in town, having taken a flight from Vermont to Austin on May 10, 2022, to race in the Gravel Locos competition in Hico, Texas. 
It did not take very long for the two to connect. On the very next day, Wednesday, May 11th, Wilson and Strickland met at the city of Austin, Deep Eddy Municipal Pool. He picked up Wilson on his motorcycle to go swimming and lied to his girlfriend about his whereabouts. He and Wilson had dinner. Then he dropped her off at the apartment where she was staying with a friend at around 8.35 p.m. the evening of May 11th. According to police records, at roughly one hour and 21 minutes later that same evening, Officer Salinas responded to a call for an unresponsive person at 1708 Maple Avenue in Austin. When the officer arrived, he observed a woman inside the residence performing CPR on a female subject, later identified as the cyclist Anna Mariah Wilson. The woman doing the CPR was Wilson's friend, who called 911. Officer Salinas observed multiple gunshot wounds to Wilson's body, and there were dispensed cartridge cases on the floor, but no weapon. Wilson was pronounced dead at 10.10 10 p.m. Wilson's friend told the officer that she had received a text message from Wilson stating that she was going to meet up with a friend named Colin Strickland for a swim. Colin became suspect number one. Detectives were told that Strickland lives in the Austin area and is a professional cyclist who is sponsored by the Red Bull Energy Drink Company. With this information, they were able to locate multiple photos of him on social media. They obtained his driver license information and his home address and recorded it for later contact. One of the detectives noticed an external surveillance camera on a house near the crime scene. He asked the homeowner if he could review the footage, and the homeowner consented. They observed a dark-colored SUV drive past the residence at 8.37 p.m., just one minute after Wilson entered the apartment, according to the electronic locking mechanism. The SUV then slowed down and appeared to come to a stop directly next to the apartment. It was observed leaving the area as well. The following day, officers drove to Strickland's residence and observed a black 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee matching the exact description of the vehicle on the surveillance footage. They spoke with Strickland, who agreed to come down to police headquarters for a formal interview. Before the interview began, a detective informed Strickland he was free to leave at any time. Strickland stated he currently lives with his girlfriend, Caitlin Armstrong. They've been dating for three years, but briefly ended their relationship in October of 2021, during which time he and Anna Wilson had a romantic relationship that lasted two weeks. He also stated that during the time he and Wilson were involved, Armstrong found Wilson's number and called Wilson on the phone to tell her she was the one who was dating Strickland. Strickland states he has had to change Wilson's name in his phone so Armstrong doesn't know who he's speaking to. He also stated he constantly deletes text messages on his phone to ensure Armstrong doesn't find them. Strickland advised that on the day of the murder, he picked up Wilson on his motorcycle at 5.45 p.m. They went to a local swimming pool and afterwards to a nearby burger place to eat. He then drove Wilson back to the apartment. He states he did not notice anyone nearby as he arrived. He dropped Wilson off and then headed home. He claims that he did make one stop to send a text message to Armstrong, which read as follows. Hey, are you out? I went to drop some flowers for Allison at her son's house up north, and my phone died. Heading home unless you have another food suggestion. The detective asked about the Jeep in the driveway, and Strickland said Armstrong was the sole owner and driver. At that time, Strickland was not accused or charged in the crime, as the arrest affidavit states. He had cooperated fully in the investigation and had been helpful. Armstrong was now the primary suspect. They ran her name in their database and found that she had an outstanding Class B misdemeanor warrant from March 6, 2018 for failing to pay $650 for a Botox procedure. Police were able to use this unrelated warrant to bring her in for questioning. The Lone Star Fugitive Task Force located and apprehended Armstrong and transported her to the Austin Police Department Homicide Unit office where detectives were waiting to interview her. However, 
The police department's report management system showed Armstrong to have a birth month of April, which did not match the birth month of November on the warrant, thereby invalidating the warrant. Armstrong could not be legally detained and was informed she was free to leave at any time. Fortunately, Armstrong did not leave immediately and detectives were able to continue to question her about Wilson's murder and her knowledge of Strickland's relationship with Wilson. Armstrong was asked if she was aware of what happened in the past 24 hours. She nodded and stated Strickland had mentioned one of the women in the cycling community had passed away. Detective Connor then stated, You know that Colin was talking to this girl, right? And Armstrong suddenly became quiet and still. When detectives then showed her evidence of her vehicle driving to and from the scene, she offered no explanation as to why it was in the area. Detective Connor then stated, We know you were upset that Colin went out with Wilson last night. Seeing your vehicle in the area, coupled with statements made by Colin, make things not look too good for you. Armstrong suddenly requested to leave, and the interview was over. Armstrong went home and immediately deleted all of her social media accounts. On Friday, May 13th, a detective reached out to a friend of Wilson's who provided information on the condition she remained anonymous. She stated that Wilson and Strickland didn't just have a fling, but in fact have had an ongoing romantic relationship since the fall of 2021. On Saturday, May 14th, another anonymous caller contacted the police to state she was with Armstrong in January of 2022. That's when Armstrong had just discovered Strickland and Wilson were in a romantic relationship even though she and Strickland were still dating. The caller advised that Armstrong became furious and, visibly shaking in anger, overheard Armstrong say that she wanted to kill Wilson and had recently purchased a firearm. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to police, Armstrong was at Austin International Bergstrom Airport boarding a flight to Houston. Investigators later determined that she then took a connecting flight in Houston to New York's LaGuardia Airport. On Tuesday, May 17th, Austin police obtained an arrest warrant for Caitlin Marie Armstrong on charges of unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. As Armstrong crossed state lines, she is considered a federal fugitive, and the U.S. Marshals have a warrant out on her as well. On Wednesday, May 18th, the U.S. Marshals Service announced that Caitlin Marie Armstrong, the lead suspect in the murder of Anna Mariah Wilson, was last seen getting dropped off at Newark Liberty International Airport four days after she flew into New York City's LaGuardia Airport. A search of outbound flights showed no reservations had been made under her name in Newark. At this time, it is unknown whether she boarded a flight under an alias or just appeared at Newark Airport to throw the marshals off course. Colin Strickland, who is not implicated in the investigation, said he has not seen Armstrong since May 13th. On May 20th, Colin Strickland issued the following statement. I am reeling from grieving Mo Wilson's death and from the facts that have emerged during the investigation. I cannot begin to imagine the pain felt by Mo's family and her close friends. There's no way to adequately express the regret and torture I feel about my proximity to this horrible crime. I am sorry, and I simply cannot make sense of this unfathomable tragedy. Although it will be a matter of small consolation to anyone else who cared for Mo, I want you to know that I have cooperated fully with investigators ever since I learned of the terrible news, and I will continue to do so until some form of justice is served. As a point of clarification to facts previously reported, Mariah Wilson and I had a brief romantic relationship from late October to early November 2021 that spanned a week or so while Wilson was visiting Austin. At the time, she and I had both recently ended relationships. She returned to her home in California and about a month later 
Caitlin Armstrong and I reconciled and resumed our relationship. Since then, I often saw Mo at cycling events and always in public settings. We both competed in Bentonville, Arkansas, Stillwater, and at Monterey, California. We also met for a four-hour training ride in Santa Cruz after the Sea Other Classic in Monterey. After our brief relationship in October of 2021, we were not in a romantic relationship, only a platonic and professional one. It was not my intention to pursue an auxiliary romantic relationship that would mislead anyone. Mariah and I were both leaders in this lonely, niche sport of cycling, and I admire her greatly and considered her a close friend. I am deeply grieving her loss. The very next day, Specialized, Strickland's helmet, shoe, tire, and mountain bike sponsor, was the first big brand to cut ties with him, releasing a statement which read, As of Saturday, May 21st, Specialized has terminated the contract agreement with Colin Strickland, and he will no longer be a sponsored athlete for the brand. Since then, multiple additional sponsors have terminated their contracts with Strickland, including Rafa, Envy, and The Meteor. On May 24th, Armstrong's father, Michael Armstrong, did an interview with one of the major news networks. We love you, Katie, and we are going to figure this out. This morning, the father of missing murder suspect, Caitlin Armstrong, speaking exclusively with ABC News. I know her, and I know how she thinks, and I know what she believes, and that I know that she just would not do something like this. I know her. I know her. He says his daughter is not capable of committing the crime she's charged with shooting her alleged romantic rival, rising cycling star Mariah Wilson. That is what they believe. I know that she did not do this. There are a lot of unanswered questions. According to court documents, the day after Wilson's murder, police questioned Armstrong, confronting her with this surveillance video showing a dark SUV matching her vehicle driving away from the home. Wilson was found with a deadly gunshot wound. Now that's the camera that captured that Jeep Grand Cherokee driving up this alley. Minutes later, those shots were fired. Wilson was killed. But what's surprising is that none of the neighbors here said they heard anything. When detectives told Armstrong the video made things not look too good, they wrote in the report she nodded her head up and down as if in agreement. That's when investigators say she asked to end the interview and was allowed to leave. By the next morning, Armstrong's social media accounts were reportedly wiped clean, according to the arrest affidavit, and she vanished. The U.S. Marshals joining the urgent search for her and say she may still be in the Austin area. Contrary to Mr. Armstrong's belief of innocence, authorities allege that Caitlin Armstrong became aware of Strickland and Wilson's meeting and became enraged. She followed them back to the house where Wilson was staying. Once Strickland left the vicinity, Armstrong allegedly confronted Wilson at the apartment and shot her multiple times before fleeing the scene. Authorities have painted the murder as motivated by jealousy. The U.S. Marshal for the Western District of Texas, Susan Pamerlo, has a message for the public. Caitlin Armstrong is accused of a very serious crime that she needs to answer for. The best thing she can do at this point wherever she is, is surrendered to authorities so she can return safely to Austin and answer the charges against her. She needs to know the U.S. Marshals are not going to stop looking for her. As of the date of this upload, authorities have yet to locate Caitlin Marie Armstrong or her vehicle. She was last seen being dropped off at Newark Airport in New Jersey, although there is no record of her having boarded a flight in her name. The U.S. Marshals have upgraded the search to major case status as the manhunt continues for the armed and dangerous Caitlin Armstrong. And beware, she may be in your area.